Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with my wife, Yana Benoon, on Israeli News Live. And we have several things we're going to be talking about this evening. Uh, everything from the evangelicals warning against political coronavirus and urging Christians to take a vaccine. How insane is that? All the way down to the little cages. They're probably going to put you in if you don't obey. So let's get right into it, Yana. Yes, Stephen. Unfortunately, evangelicals are selling out Christians, evangelical leaders, that is, and maybe they're even successful persuading many Christians it's okay to take a vaccine. This article came out today, 2,700. Evangelicals won against politicizing coronavirus, urge Christians to take vaccine. Now, this uh, is the same article, Steve, as... Um, as on this particular website here, statement that biologos.org. Biologos you know, logos is a word, right? Yes, so yes, yes. Jesus. Logos is what they're taking it from. But, you know, I guarantee you, mm -hmm. as you've already showed me in this document that they have here, this is to uh, play on biblical passages of the New Testament so that we can be put under the slavery of, uh, well, let's just get into this. Yes, so th this is the statement of Christians, a Christian statement on science for pandemic times. Let's clarify, this is not a Christian statement for pandemic times. This is a uh, New World Order statement by a bunch of backslidden, uh, totally messed up Zionists uh, that are uh, masquerading as Christians. Exactly. But let's see what they're saying. We, the undersigned, join together as Christians who uphold the authority of God's word and see science as a tool to understand God's world. Can you believe this Sounds science? Sounds like Christian science, doesn't right. it? Right. We mm. call on all Christians to follow the advice of public health experts and support scientists during crucial biomedical research on COVID-19. Well, then why didn't they listen to all these medical experts and doctors and virologists and biologists that came out and opposed this, that people like Fauci and their little thugs that are in Google and suppression of... Uh, Freedom of speech decided to make sure their voices are removed from the well, internet. There is a mm. lot of epidemiologists that came against this. Yes. And a lot of MDs and doctors and nurses. Yes. But they're completely overlooking this. There was even like 700 or 800 doctors, Steve, that wrote a letter to President Trump uh, telling him that this is a complete hoax. Okay. But all of this has never, never been on the media. No. Well, okay, let's continue. They're saying we are deeply concerned about the polarization and politicization of science in the public square when so many lives are at stake. Wow, so many lives and there is no pandemic. Mm. Okay, uh, but Christians should listen to scientists and doctors when they speak in the in their area of expertise, especially when millions of lives are at stake. Well, I guess they mean the scientists and doctors that Zion is run media is uh, is presenting on CNN and Fox exactly. and MSNBC. Because millions of lives are not at stake. We didn't see millions of people die from it. So it's of definitely not, not a pandemic. This is why they had to make up deaths and mark non-COVID deaths as COVID so they can pump this up. And they're doing now, they're beginning to add uh, new symptoms of COVID. Uh, oh, wow. It could cause your heart, heart to start yeah, fluttering. That's the latest. Oh, wow. And there's another one as well. What, what, what was that other one that you saw that you told me about? Uh, which, which basically Oh, gives, like fibromyalgia. Yeah, 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 so, so every, so every yeah. death will be a COVID death. Yeah, well, it might cause you to commit suicide. Whoa, we've heard that one before. Well, suicides are on the rise, Steve. Yeah, they and are. And it's from what their implementation, from yeah, their solutions to COVID. That's not COVID uh, deaths, even though that we know for a fact they have marked suicides as COVID deaths. Right, exactly. But anyway, when they say, but Christians should listen to scientists and doctors when they speak, well, which scientists and which doctors? Like they're presenting Bill Gates, right? And they're presenting a lot of false scientists and false doctors. Uh, I guess they're meaning those on CNN. That's right. what well, they mean. Well, you know, it'd be different if we had objective 
uh, views being presented so that the people could make better informed decisions. But unfortunately, this uh, so-called Christian uh, group here is completely 100% behind a false narrative and have no uh, critical thinking or objective mm-hmm. ability to, to speak on the matter. And you know, they're never going to invite Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, Dr. Bukacek. No, of course. Uh, they're course never not going to invite those doctors who actually speak truth about the matter. Exactly. Right? Okay, so I'm only reading highlighted areas. Scientists are discovering truth about the virus, our bodies, treatments, and vaccines. As Christians, we know that all truth, including scientific truth, is ultimately from God. Well, let's see. Wasn't that the case in Nazi Germany? That's what uh, they, they had a lot of Nazi scientists that perform experiments. And these vaccines are experimental, even admittedly experimental vaccines. We so still, how can they make such a statement when we yeah. know very well about Nuremberg trials, we know Nazis are in all kind of experiments on the prisoners. So how can they just say this, that all truth is from God, even the scientific truth or whatever they mark as scientific truth? This yeah. is highly irresponsible and it's basically selling out the flock. Yes, sure is. Yes. Um, well, uh, I highlighted a little bit more in this Christians in the biomedical sciences like Dr. Francis Collins see their work as continuing the healing ministry of Jesus. That is blasphemous that statement. Totally blasphemous. Completely. Completely. That is a blasphemous statement in itself. Uh, there is nothing about wow. biomedical science. You might as well just go ahead and say that Bill Gates is your healer then. Go ahead and take him for your Messiah. We have oh every day gosh. bad news, but I never thought. Now, do they forget that all these <laughs> all these scientists that they're talking about, many of them, especially in big pharma like Moderna and all these others, are probably just uh, Operation Paperclip, neo-Nazis uh, and, and Jewish doctors that were brought over to the United States to continue their pharmacaea, their witchcraft here in America. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they call witchcraft. Of God. That's why I say it's blasphemous, right? This is, you have to understand, friends, when they're taking Christians in the biomedical sciences like Dr. Francis Collins, see this work continue the healing ministry of Jesus. No, it's not. That's pharmakeia. Pharmakeia is the Greek word of witchcraft, and Jesus was not involved in witchcraft. No, no, this is, that's what I said. We have every day bad news, Steve, but I never thought I'll wake up to that kind of news. No. But anyway, um, I highlighted here when they're saying that scientists working together are far more accurate than one person's theory on YouTube. Well, this is blasphemous because, we, you know, they're making us to be totally stupid. The people who... It's not one YouTube, person, there is, No, there is many doctors, many scientists with degrees that came forward and exposed this propaganda. Okay, so this is yeah. complete brainwashing of Christians. This is must shameful. be five hundred one c three corporation yeah. uh, media giants putting this out. What that, what else did I highlight? Okay, let's go. As, Christian. as Christians throughout history have shown during other pandemics, our faith is what moves us to deep compassion for the sick, the young, the old, and the vulnerable. As we follow Jesus' command to care for the least of these. Our faith calls us to sacrifice ourselves for others and accept temporary limitations on our freedoms because we have a permanent, per, excuse me, permanent and complete freedom in Christ. Hebrews ten thirty four. Now I also take issue with that, and let me tell you why. Jesus went to the leper, didn't wear no mask or anything, mm-hmm. and he healed the lepers. There was no need to take and put on face mask and everything else. He openly healed the sick, never had to do any of these things. So his methods had nothing to do with uh, Scientology medical nonsense that they're trying to bring out here. No, they're doing upside down, reversing everything. Yes. Because if we do have faith in Jesus, we wouldn't be afraid of virus because we have faith trust in Christ that he has made our bodies with immune systems and provided everything in nature for our healing and faith, you know, that we have, that he's going to take care of us. We don't need vaccines and masks, but anyway. Okay, one second, before you go to the next part here, by the way, 
where they have on here, but, uh, but scientists working together are far more accurate than one person on their theory on YouTube. All right, so there's not one person here. There's two of us. All right, let's continue. Well, no, no, they are. Uh, oh, I know what they mean. I'm just being <laughs> yeah. facetious about this. But anyway, so. look what they're telling them. Therefore, because our faith in Jesus Christ, we will what? Wear mask? Get well, vaccinated? Well, no, Stephen, oh, sorry. Um, they, they, what I wanted to uh, put your attention to, our faith calls us to sacrifice ourselves for others and accept limitations to our freedom. So they're actually going against constitution now. They are willing to give people's freedoms and they are totally misinterpreting Bible, which is so typical of these walls, you know? Yep. Are you tired? Yep, I am. All right. Sorry, I've been driving says, all day. Therefore, because of our faith in Christ, we will wear masks. Wear masks in indoor public spaces. And, and quote a scripture physical. to get people to do it. Yeah, they're quoting First Peter 2, 13, 17. When if we, you don't really understand the, um, the um, if you don't have a good understanding of the biblical verse and how to apply it, you may fall for this. Because look, yeah. it says, submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor as the supreme authority, or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. So you really think Cuomo is a governor sent by the Lord? Yeah, that's what you okay. got to focus on, who are sent by him, all right? Right. Now, I don't see... Whoa, sorry. That's not how you do it. You need to do it. Uh, yeah. I don't see anywhere biblically where any of these leaders have been sent by God. There is no proof whatsoever that they're sent by God at right. all. So they, they are misusing this verse. Now, uh, we will come back to this article, but I have found this great explanation. Plus, I want to recommend to you, Chuck Baldwin has an excellent book on Romans 13 and 1 Peter uh, verses, explanation. In entire book, he has explained to detail exegesis for the entire meaning of these particular verses, okay? This is from the gatewaypundit.com, very good article debunking Christian excuses of inaction in the face of evil. Because yes. friends, what's happening right now is a, is a complete evil and a violation of basic human rights. And these wolves in evangelical church are changing the meaning of scripture. Here we go. Like, Submit to the authorities does not apply here. Those who use scripture, admonition to submit to authorities to justify doing nothing while our nation is under siege, are also misusing scripture. Passages such as 1 Peter 2, 13 to 17, Romans 13, 1 through 7, are not a blanket command to always submit to authority in every situation. Rather, they are a general admonition to be applied under certain conditions. Note that Peter clearly states in verse 14, uh, general admission to be applied, no, that, me, the authorities. that the authorities in question recognize the difference between good and evil and commend good, uh, Romans 13, 3. This is not the case today. Congress members, judges, governors, mayors, local authorities are openly formatting and funding lawlessness. They celebrate those who break our laws while vilifying those who uphold them. They clearly do not stand for nor commend good. They, and we no. see that in the prophets of old, how they condemn the governments. So what about that? Exactly. The governments, kings, and everything right. else. L look at Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, right? They were commended by government to perform worship to the, to, to the image. They refused. And these guys are actually, when they put on these masks, they have no idea the rituals that they are mm -hmm. participating in, the, the demonic rituals. They are submitting, as if it was in Babylonian times, to the Babylonian king's demand to bow down to idols. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. There is another important implication of both this passage and the Romans 13 passage that is often overlooked through the act of obeying the authorities. Believers help maintain their freedom to do good. They 
this is also not the case today. Rather than maintaining it, our obedience played out in silence and inaction is costing us our freedom to do good. We are being vilified for our beliefs, silence in a public square and forced out of and denied jobs. If we believers do not stand now against the lawlessness overtaking our land, we will lose our freedom to do good for good. It is only a matter of time. And don't forget Acts 5.29, we must obey God rather than men and we have right to yes. liberty. Okay, and this is a propaganda to take all of our liberty. Our nation is under siege. And shamefully, these evangelical pastors who are wolves are uh, twisting scripture with false reasonings. Okay, false reasonings. Look, they're saying on the same website, get vaccinated. And saying vaccination is a provision from God that will prevent this disease. Is. All right, let me challenge you on your stupid statement that you just made here. So is it a provision from God to take little uh, newborn babies or preemie babies while they're alive and, and, and rip out the heart, the brain, and use that matter there for these vaccinations? Yes. This is what you call vaccination yeah. is a provision yeah. from God that prevent disease. Let me tell you something. The God you serve is not Jesus Christ. You might be serving that devil God, uh, but it was not Jesus Christ. That's yeah. one thing I'll assure you of. And I just had recently this interview with uh, researcher Sophia Smallstorm on vaccines. And of course, these vaccines are not even like regular vaccines before. They are uh, and messenger RNA experimental vaccines are going to change DNA code of humans now to mess with the creation of God. And they are saying that they are provision from God here on this website. What a blasphemy, Steve. And when Steve was saying ripping out babies' hearts, this is how these vaccines are cultured. They're cultured on cells from babies that were taken from mother's womb alive yes. and while still alive their hearts were ripped out maybe i can play that clip there okay. from robert kennedy where he did the interview with the doctor there for people uh, yeah here. we're gonna and have to do this, this is, again because yeah. this is well we'll see if it won't is, we'll, we'll yeah. play it here for a second you guys you can see that take a look at this no, right Steve, now take a look at this right yeah. now and you know what's really uh alarming is that lack of outcry over uh human babies born alive and five to six months old so that their hearts can be attained beating and they have to be beating to be used in the research that's being done the heart is stopped beating it's not it's not useful you cannot use it and so these babies are delivered alive and their hearts cut out without anesthesia i i wouldn't do that to a mouse you mean when you say five months old you're talking about a fetus that is five months old yes and they are they are live birthed yes and and they are surgically killed their hearts are cut out or they cut through their faces to get good brain tissue okay that is horrible uh -huh. Now you see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is not a game, friends. And, and then you've got these. Uh, uh, Th this listen. is difficult to even even talk about this. This is uninformed Christians. This is Christians that are backslidden. This blasphemy. is five hundred one C. This I don't. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, here we go. The world renew stand with you in a space of embracing science. Embracing science? No, I'm embracing Jesus Christ. Exactly. And miraculous healing. People, these are wolves in sheep's clothing. Th these are sellouts. This is worse than wolves. This is ravening wolves. Yes. You know, it's interesting, Yana, because if you think about it, the scripture says Satan knows he has but a little time, so he's seeking whom he may devour. 
And I've been thinking about that, especially in light of the vaccines that we know is a pandemic for depopulation, all these other things. What is depopulation? That is Satan seeking whom he may devour. These little babies, they make it from Satan seeking whom he may devour. So you want a scripture to be to be looking at? Look at that one. These are signatories. Okay, <clears throat> look at some of them. The Park Church senior pastor, Christianity Today, president and CEO. Christianity Today, Editor-in-Chief. Backsliders. The Wesleyan Church, General Superintendent. All of them. Adventures in Evangelical Civility, author. Um, Fuller Theological Seminary. Is that Full of It Theological Seminary? I don't know. Full of It Theological <laughs> Cemetery. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Christian, what is that? Intervarsity Christian Fellowship, bunch of universities. You know, guys, you need to look at all these signatories on here. Yeah. And, and if you have any association Monitor with it. them, I would I would let them know what your feelings are about this, and uh, uh, and then it wouldn't have anything to do. Definitely wouldn't support them. Pleasant Hill Ministry, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. What happened well, to the Baptist? Right down the toilet. Wow, this is ah. Oh. Blasphemy, Calvin University, and basically, you know, the, see all signatories, all signatures. Oh Messiah my gosh, University, more? Messiah University. No wonder Calvin why this University. nation is up for judgment. Yeah, mm -hmm. Christians have totally this... gone down the toilet. Oh, well, forgive me, yeah. I shouldn't say it that way. There's good Christians, but that, that know the truth and stuff. But but this backslidden group has really gone down the commode. Well, now, Steve. Uh, Going well, here's to, what's going to happen to you. We'll share this with you yeah. here. And yeah. uh, I I'm probably need to blank the language out because it's got some very bad language in it. But this is what's going to happen if you're not compliant. All right. So let's take a let's take a, a listen here or a look here. Holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's for people. It's got toilets, he says. Why did you put it so long? Well, because of the bad language. Oh, no. Put down here at the bottom. I need to hear it. Well, maybe you need to hear the truth. It does. Yes, sir, it does. These are cages, yeah, human cages with toilets. toilets. Oh, sorry for language. There's toilets friends. in there. So these are cages for humans. Holy shit, dude. Oh, sorry, guys. Those are for people. Yeah, those are for people. They've got toilets. I am going to pause it. Bro. That to give you an idea of what's going on. This is what's going to happen for those of you that don't want to obey the commands. Yeah. Or are you going to stand up for the truth? I mean, Jesus would much rather, I think, see people stand for righteousness sake, not for this putrefied mess. Anyway, okay. do we have anything else? Or are we actually No, anything one? else is going to rise up, children of God. At this point, we want to tell you about other channels. We have Israeli News Live Patreon yes. channel. Where Steve is going to actually be doing a short message very tonight. Very short message. Be doing there. A, uh, I'll do an update. Quite urgent. Um, then we have mm. Rise Up, Children of God. That's my channel. Yes. We have Denun Institute of Biblical Research, which is Bible teaching. Steve is going to post tomorrow on that. And we have Fact News Network. That's our Again. backup channel. Yes. Listen, you're on Israeli News Live. You saw they banned us for things we said. It could happen again. You mm -hmm. need to be subscribed to Fact News Network. And then also right. we have our app. Yes, we have our Israeli News Live app. It's on Android and it is also on um, uh, Apple products as well. That is uncensored. Bill is yes. does a marvelous job. He, he copies a lot of work from, from a lot of the different channels and puts it over there for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a and place where they... Live. Yeah, we're on DLive and that's one place they can't take us down. And then, of course, eventmastersfx.com. Now, you can sign in there for free, no problem. Uh, but if you are a ministry, you're wanting a place where you can uh, uh, produce uncensored uh, content, just shoot me over and put it in the subject line on Israeli News Live, uh, dot, uh, excuse me, at gmail.com. And, uh, and 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 uh, you can go ahead and sign up on your own. You don't have to wait on me. But if you uh, if you let us know you're you're signing up on there, uh, that you know it's not it's just a little bit there, but uh, it will bless the ministry as well. So 
Uh, but either way, just, just sign up because I think it's going to be a great platform. And of course, the sense, or excuse me, the, the security of this is highly advanced. Uh, and that's Event Masters FX. I'll try to make sure all these uh, links are put there for you in the de uh, description below so you can uh, sign up on these different places. And we're going to go ahead and let you go because I got a little work to do over on Patreon Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. Thank you.